So this is a quick video on how to make a rust print on material. And the materials I've got are some rusty chicken wire, a bowl to contain white vinegar, the all important material. I've got some linen that I pre-dyed and also some pliers to cut the chicken wire. And I've got a couple of different pairs of gloves, kitchen rubber gloves and also some gardening gloves and some string. So that's the ingredients <laughs> to make this little recipe. So let's begin. First of all, you need to soak the material in some vinegar and I just use cheap white vinegar because the vinegar is going to help with transferring the rust off the chicken wire and into the material. So the technical part Basically just lying the material out and putting the chicken wire on. Now you don't have to use chicken wire, you can use any rusty material like rusty nails or um, well anything. You probably find if you go into your shed or a friend's shed that there are lots of old uh, gardening um, pieces of equipment. Even these look pliers, they've got rust on them, you could put them on there and the print will transfer from them. But I'm just thinking something simple for this. You can't see the whole length of the material, but that's okay, you'll get the general gist. So this is me doing it really quickly, and the reason I'm doing it quickly is because um, I'm actually dismantling the chicken run because we're getting the house ready to sell, and the chicken run was kind of falling apart anyway. And there is so much work that I need to do out in the garden <laughs> that I really need to get back out there. But I couldn't go past the opportunity to do something creative with this fabulous piece of rusty wire. So it's going to be a quick one. Now, you can't see it, but the end, it's not quite long enough. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more of the wire. I'll show you cutting the wire. So I mean, it you know it doesn't have to be perfectly laid out or anything like that. It really depends on the look you want. But with the chicken wire, I guess I'd like it to to be fairly consistent all up and down the material. Okay, well, camera just fell over because I got it caught up in the chicken wire. <laughs> so um, you might have a slightly different angle <laughs> now. Anyway, here we go. So material, chicken wire. I might lay some cling wrap just to stop a, a double print. So to act as a resist. And it's just a matter of rolling it up. So it doesn't really matter how you do it. So long as you've got contact. And there goes my, <laughs> there goes my glove, so I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> Now some of this is poking through the material, um, hopefully it won't be make too much of a mess, damage it too much, so there we go, that's that. So this now, I'm just going to give it one more fold and I'm just going to dip it in the vinegar. So here's our bundle, so I've got my steaming pot over here, just water in there. I'll put that in, in there, put the lid on it and then leave it. Wow, look at this. This is looking pretty good. I steamed it for an hour and I've let it just sit and cool slightly. So the important thing now is to stop the iron from continuing to oxidise onto the material because if we don't stop it from doing that, what will happen is the rust will basically burn holes in the material, which we really don't want to do. Certainly not with this piece of material anyway. So I'm going to unwrap it and then I'm going to dip it and into a solution of salty water 
and leave it there to soak for a little while. So here we go. Pretty exciting, isn't it? I probably ought to be wearing gloves. <laughs> the messiest part of the whole thing, and I haven't got gloves on. Okay, wear gloves. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Isn't it stunning? It's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely colours. I like it with the blue. So, a bowl of hot water. Broken bag of salt. <laughs> Goodly amount. put this in and just let it sit there and the alkali of the salt will just counteract the effects of the acid do you remember we used acid before um, and it will just stop that rusting process from continuing so we'll just leave that for about 15 minutes Look at the results now that it's dried. If you've enjoyed watching this video and you'd like to see more, please click on the like and subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell because that's what will notify you when a new video comes out. Stay tuned for more videos on eco printing, felting and also making jewellery out of wire wrapping, shells and beach glass. If you'd like to support me making these videos, please click on the Patreon button. This is Anshi Jones, thank you so much for watching, until next time, over and out.